what are the disadvantages of Keown spine surgery or endoscopic spine surgery? When a patient comes for a Keown spine surgery, he would have already known or the surgeon would have already told him the advantages of Keown spine surgery. But it's equally important that what are the disadvantages of Keown spine surgery. A patient who is well aware of all the things related to surgery has better outcomes. So, we as surgeon believe in educating the patient with both the advantages and the disadvantages and the complications of the procedure which the patient is trying to undergo. So, in this session, let us speak about the disadvantages of Keyhole Spine Surgery. The disadvantages of Keyhole Spine Surgery are very, very, very less compared to the Open Spine Surgery. But even then, as a patient, as a patient attendant, it, keep, it becomes your right and also it becomes your duty to understand the disadvantages before accepting or before going for the surgery. So let us elaborate the, disadvantage of, the disadvantages of the Keyhole Spine Surgery. We will go from the most common disadvantage to the most rare disadvantages are the complications. Okay, first one. As I have told you in my prior interviews, a single surgery doesn't fit everyone. So, of all the diseases in the spine, there are few diseases which cannot be treated by keyhole spine surgery. The keyhole spine surgery for the neck, or we call the cervical spine, is being developed. It is not commonly done. There are very few surgeons who would do it and the surgeries are not so popular right now. But when you come for the lumbar spine or the low back, or the low back the QL spine surgeries have become very common. The many surgeons have, have started gaining expertise and at least uh, there are at least three to four surgeons at each metropolitan city who have gained expertise and who are doing it on a regular basis. They have gained expertise of more than 10 years right now. So, when it comes to the low back spine, low back or the lumbar spine, at least 85% of the diseases can be treated by keyhole spine surgery. Whereas it comes to the cervical spine, 85% of the cases will require an open surgery or a microscopic spine surgery than a keyhole spine surgery. All this is as per my experience. So every surgery cannot be done by keyhole spine surgeries. Some surgeries are better done by keyhole. Some surgeries are better done by open spine surgery. The lumbar spine which is very commonly dealt with keyhole spine, in 85% of the cases they can be done by keyhole spine surgery and 15% of the cases still require an open spine surgery. Second one, what are the complications? The keyhole spine surgery is done in a special kind of anesthesia which is known as local anesthesia or or uh, epidural analgesia. This anesthesia is far safer compared to general anesthesia which is required for open spine surgery. So, keyhole spine surgery can be done for patients with very, very sick patients like patients with heart disease, patients with kidney failure, patients with asthma, patients with uncontrolled diabetes, patients with uncontrolled hypertension and many other diseases. But at the same time, when we give, uh, when this surgery is done under local anesthesia, spinal or spinal analgesia, the patient is awake. Even though he doesn't feel the pain or he feels minimal pain, some of the patients become anxious. So what we do? We have a trial run. A day before anesthesia, we take him the patient into the theater. We, treat, we teach them what is going to happen. So, so that on the day of surgery, they are not anxious much. Third one. Then it can cure spine surgery cause nerve damage. The amount of nerve damage and the incidence of nerve damage which can occur in open spine surgeries is higher compared to the keyhole spine surgery and why? One thing is in keyhole spine surgery the patient is conscious. 
So if my instrument touches a normal nerve root, immediately the patient will have a small shock like sensation and he will alert the surgeon that my instrument is touching the nerve root or the neural structure. So I bring my instrument away from the nerve root so that I will not damage the nerve. Whereas in open spine surgery, the patient is under general anesthesia. So until the surgery is over, sometimes we will not be able to make out whether the nerve has been damaged or not. Whereas in QL spine surgery, on the table, during the surgery, I will understand whether I am touching the nerve so that I will be able to avoid the nerve damage. So the incidence of neural damage at fresh neural deficit after a QL spine surgery is less than 1%. Is less than what is less than one person, and because the QL spine surgery done under brilliant illumination and high magnification, it shows the normal nerve now in very clearly, crystal clearly. The amount of the chances of nerve damage will be very very low. Third complication is infection, which can be seen in any surgery, but. Compared to spine, open spine surgery, the chances of infection are also very very low in QL spine surgery. The instruments which you use in QL spine surgery are very very minute. Sometimes it happens that during surgery the instrument breaks and it's retained within the disc space. In majority of the cases, you will be able to remove the that broken instrument, the broken in, broken instrument. But sometimes if you are not able to remove the broken instrument through the keyhole, then you may have to convert it to, into open surgery to remove, remove the broken piece. But this is uh, definitely very very rare. Apart from this, rare complication which can be seen in keyhole spine surgery are, um, they are actually uh, very rare but uh, failure. Uh, sometimes you may have to convert the QL spine surgery into um, a QL spine surgery to open spine surgery. Sometimes there will be, can be injury to a layer around the nerve root which can cause leakage of CSF. Leakage of CSF. Sometimes you may require an open surgery at a delayed rate. Sometimes uh, you, may, you may have a recurrence and the recurrence rate is around 5 to 6 percent. So these are some of the complications which can be seen in rare patients. So before you go for a keyhole spine surgery, do ask for the complications or the failure rate. Although they are less compared to open spine surgery, you are supposed to know them. Thank you.